Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about and we're going to do simple leg strength. Let's get started. Boys. The first thing we're going to do is just lift your arms up, inhale, lower your arms down, exhale. Two more times. Inhale, just getting a little bit of concentration. And exhale down, centering. And one last time, lift your arms up, inhale. And lower your arms, exhale. Then after that, you're more or less in a parallel position. You have a little bit of distance in between your feet. And we're going to do three roll downs. Start from the top of your head, rolling down as much as you want. You don't have to touch the toes or the floor with your fingers and then come back up to standing position. Just to warm up your spine a little bit, rolling down again. One last time, rolling. Now, you can now have your feet either completely closed or just have them a little bit hip distance or a little bit open. I'm just going to stand sideways so you can see that. We're going to work on our calf muscles and a little bit of stability. You can face wherever you want to face. I'm just going sideways so you can see my heels. So now, just lift your heels up all the way and bring them all the way back down. Just uh, We're talking about the same exercise, stability, and balance, calf muscles. Let's do five more of these ones. Try to do it as controlled as possible and as big as possible. Good, and one last time all the way up and all the way down. Now, we did 100%, I called it. We lifted all the way up and all the way down. Now, we only do halfway up, so 50% up and all the way back down. And a little bit up and down. Good, let's do also five more. Don't forget to breathe. Always a good reminder. Last two. And one. Good. Now, next challenge. Can we bring our heels all the way up? We've never lifted the heels that high. This is our starting position, and we go from our 100%, I call it, down to 50%, halfway down, and we go all the way up again. Halfway down, all the way up. Also here, five. Three, two, and one last time. Then bring your heels all the way down. Now we're going to do again 100% up, all the way up, and all the way down. Let's go up and down. Last 15. Already two, three, four, up and down. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Shake your legs. <laughs> Isn't it interesting? All of, all of a sudden, your calf muscles, they go all the way up until your glute muscles. Good. <laughs> now, <laughs> now it's going to get interesting. So, 
I, mean, I have to shake my legs one more time. I feel like, oh, that was nice work for the calf muscles. Good. Now, can you lift your only your right leg up just a little bit? It doesn't have to be a lot, or you can also bring it all the way down. It de depends on your balance today. If you want, you can also bring your arms to the side to give you a little bit more stability. I would like you to lift your left heel, the one which is on the mat or on the floor, up. And down. <laughs> yes. And up. And down. Oh, <laughs> good. Each repetition, each attempt counts. Let's go for three. Are you ready for a little challenge? Two. One last time. Can you keep your heel lifted? Hold it. Five, four, <laughs> three, <laughs> two, one, and down. <laughs> Good. <laughs> if it doesn't work, that was totally fine. That was a little challenge. Okay. We did our left leg on the floor, so right leg up, now we do the opposite. So bring your left leg up and your right foot is down. Arms to the side or whatever it feels comfortable to you. Just lift and lower, just to find your balance. Even if it's just a little bit, one little centimeter up and down, that's totally fine. Good. Ready for your challenge? Keep your heel lifted. Hold it. Five, four, three, two, one, and down. <laughs> Good. All of a sudden, it got quite windy here, so all the windows got open. It's hard to find the balance. I know. That's okay. That's it for our calf muscles for right now. Now we're going to get the thighs a little bit warmed up. So now you can go a little bit wider than mat distance apart with your feet. You're going to keep them parallel. We're going to do a couple of squats. So if you want, you can bring your arms front, bend your legs, and come back up to a standing position. From here, you can have a little bit more weight onto your heels when you bend and extend your legs. Also here, you can go down and inhale, coming back up, exhale. If that's confusing to you, breathe however it feels comfortable for you. Good, let's do also five more. Four more, three, maybe let's go a little bit deeper, <laughs> if you can, if you want to, two. Last but not least, let's try to keep this legs bent, and let's go a little bit more back, bring your upper body more up, but bend your legs, and now we stay here for one second, make sure that you have 50% on your right leg of your body weight and 50 on the other one. Ready for a couple of little pulses. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold it. Lift only your right heel up. 10 pulses. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold it. Switch your legs, your heels. Left heel is up. Ready for your 10. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold it, lift both heels up. Don't forget to breathe. I promise you, last 10 pulses. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And relax for one second. <laughs> Good. Are you ready for our next nice exercise? This time, can you open your legs more or less one leg distance in between your feet and your toes are slightly open to the side? Some people call that an open V position. In belly, it's a second position. Or in the fitness industry, they call it a sumo squat starting position. Bring your arms to the side or whatever feels comfortable to you. We're going to do getting used to this exercise. Bend your legs and your knees are facing over your toes and up. Yes, you can keep your heels down. You can also make this position a little wider, a little less. Your choice. Good. And keep your upper body straight like you're going along a wall up and down. 
Yes. It's close to here. Five. Four more times. I don't want to get stuck too much with these exercises because I have a big plan. Three. Two. Good. Last but not least, keep your legs bent and you go into your lowest, your deepest position and one centimeter more. Yes. Let's get ready for these pulses. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it. Right heel up. Ready for your ten. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it. Switch your heels. And ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it for one second. Both heels up, a little bit lower, last 10. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And relax your legs. Good. I have two last standing exercises ready for you. The next one you're going to, this is going to be one of your favorite exercises. I can promise you already. Your left foot is front and your right leg is back and your heel behind you is lifted. So I'm going to show you from the side, you have this position and from the front, you don't have to bring your feet in one line, bring the back leg a little bit more to the side. It gives you more stability. Then from here, you can bring your hands here where it feels comfortable to you. We're going to do a couple of single leg lunges. So you're going to bend your legs and up. Yes. If you want, you can bring your knee all the way down. But of course, you don't have to. You can also go here, inhale down, exhale up. It's also a nice balance exercise. Three more to go. And let's do one last one. We're going to keep our legs bent as much as you can. Ready for your 10 pulses, of course. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold it. Lift your front heel up. And let's go a little deeper. Only last 10. Then we go to the other side. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And relax your legs. <laughs> Shake your legs. <laughs> Good. We're going to go to the other side. So right leg is front, left leg is back, same starting position. Let's get used to this side. Bend and extend. Down and up. Good, let's keep our legs bent as much as we want to. Ready for your 10 pulses. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold it, lift your right heel up. Let's go a little bit deeper. Last 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yes, relax these legs. <laughs> Walk around, breathe, <laughs> yes, good. Now we have one last standing exercise before we go down to our mat. So here I'm gonna go to the diagonal and you can have your feet closed and your hands can be here or open up, totally up to you. Bring your right leg front so you're touching with your toes slightly the floor in front of you. Now, I would like you to lift the right leg up as much as you can and bring it back down. And with control up, with control down. All the way up or as much as you can.
Good. Ready for your challenge? Lift your leg up. A little higher. Hold it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And down. Ready for the other side. Left leg front. Going to do the same thing with the other leg. Lift. And lower. Lift. Lower. It doesn't matter how high you lift your leg. Make it long. Good. Lift your leg. Keep it lifted. Hold it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And down. Shake your legs for one second. <laughs> we are not done with our standing exercise. We have another nice one. Let's go back to our right leg. Bring your right leg to the side. And we're going to do this parallel. So your heel is facing back. And you can bring your upper body slightly away from your leg. Because we're going to lift your right leg to the side as much as you can. Up and down. Yes, as parallel and as high as possible. If that's not a lot, it's also totally fine. Good. Then, lift your leg. Keep it lifted. Hold it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And down. Good. Other side. Same exercise, other leg. Lift, lower. You can go with your upper body a little bit away if that helps you for a little bit more mobility. That's okay. And let's keep this leg lifted. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, and down. Last but not least, with it front, with it side, let's go back. With a leg to the back, we go with our right leg. Arms can be in the same position. And to the back, it doesn't matter how high you lift it. Bring it up, and down. Up, down. Gonna be also parallel. Good. Lift your leg. Hold it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And down. Shake your leg. I'm glad we did some balance in the beginning. So that's that helped me here to keep that, hold that balance. Yes. Other side. Left leg. Let's lift and lower. Up and down. Good. Let's keep it lifted. Hold it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and down. I'm sorry I was lying. This was not the last exercise in standing. We have one, one last one. <laughs> really. I just it came back to my head. You can hate me for that, but I like surprises. Hope you like surprises too. This one uh, called a single leg flat back. So I'm going to just go sideways and let's bend our legs already just a little bit. We have the arms right next to us. We're going to decide we start with our right leg and the arms are going together. They're doing the same thing all the time. So you're bringing your both arms front, slide your right leg back and bring your upper body in line with your arms and with your leg and your standing leg is slightly bent. And then you come back, and we do the same leg again. Slide your leg back, bring your arms front, bend your standing leg, and make yourself as long as possible going back. Yes. With control, as much as you can. Eight, 
It looks easy, but it's not. Let's do two more times. And for our last time, let's hold this flat back position here. Hold it there for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and come back to your standing position. Shake your leg, not only one, leg two. Okay, it's also a completely different challenge, which is activating the entire back part of your body, which is super nice. Okay, we did first, we did first our right leg, let's do the other left leg. Starting position is the same, let's go. You can also here if you want, inhale reaching out, exhale coming back. And if you do this exercise on your mat, that's a bigger challenge. But you don't have to, you can always step to the side. Two more times. Last one. And hold your flat back position. Eight, seven, six. Make yourself long. Five, four, three, two, one. And coming back. Yes. Last time shaking your legs. And now I promise you that was our last standing exercise. I would like to find now a nice transition onto our mats. So I would like you to stand on one side of your mat, more or less with your heels here. We need space in front of us. We're gonna do one roll down and we stay down. If you can touch with your hands the mat, that's fine. If not, bend your legs slightly. Let's stay here. For three in and exhale. Good. Then bend your legs so you can sit with your pelvis on your heel. <laughs> then walk with your hands into the all fours position. You can relax your feet. And we're going to do a couple of cat stretches. Round your back. Lower your head if you want, you can exhale here. Then extend your spine, lift your head, inhale. And exhale here. Inhale, extend. Good, then let's do this two exercise one last time, one time round. And one time extend your spine. Good, then find a comfortable way lying onto your belly. And we're gonna bring the hands on top of each other, bend your legs, you bring your heels together, your toes apart and also your knees are apart. This one is Hannah's favorite called pancakes and muffins. And I thought the glute muscles and the hamstring muscles are also part of our legs. So what we're going to do is you can rest your head on your hands if you want to. Make sure your center is active and only squeeze the heels together. And then you release. Squeeze the heels again. And relax. Why does it call the exercise pancakes and muffins? Because when you squeeze your heels and relax, the shape of your glute muscle muscles are changing. Either you have pancakes or you have muffins. Good, let's do that three more times.
and last time. Good. Now let's add a little something to it. That means you squeeze your heels slightly and you're going to lift your thighs slightly up and bring your thighs slightly down and relax. Again, squeeze your heels, lift your thighs, lower them and relax. And again, squeeze, lift, down, relax. Squeeze, lift, down, relax. Three more times. Squeeze, lift, down, relax. Two. And one last time. And good. Then relax your legs, move your pelvis side to side. And now we're going back, or we're going to a next exercise which has the muscle focus on the same spot. So your legs are long. Tuck your toes. Keep them tucked and bring your heels again together, but this time your legs are long. So you have a little V position, a V shape with your feet. Now, extend your legs all the way so your knees are leaving the mat. Good. Then, lift your legs slightly off, no, slightly off the mat so your toes are away. Yes. Hopefully you can see that. I'm going to turn around for one second. It's this one. So you're here. And then, you open your legs a hand distance apart and close. Open, close. Open, close. Keep your legs lifted and make them long. Open, close. Open, close. Yes, let's go a little faster. Open, close. Open, close. Open, close. Open, close. Let's go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And relax for one second. Shake your legs. Shake your pelvis. That will start the preparation and the beginning of the exercise. We all know the breathing pattern of our hundreds. When we put the movement on our, of our arms from the hundred exercise into our legs, and we also add the breathing to this one. That means we are going to go in the same position. Tug your toes, bring your heels together, extend your legs, lift your legs slightly off the floor, ready for our heel claps, nice exercise, inhale to prepare and let's go with the speeds. Exhale two, three, four, five and in, two, three, four, ten. Exhale two, three, four, five and in, two, three, four, twenty. Make these legs long, we are already at thirty. Exhale two, three, four, five and in, two, three, four, forty. Exhale two, three, four, five and in, two, three, four, half time. Exhale two, three, Four, five, and in, two, three, four, sixty. Exhale, two, four, five, and in, two, three, four, seventy. Exhale, two, three, four, five, and in, three, four, eighty. Exhale, two, three, four, five, and in, two, three, four. Last, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax, take a pause. Come over this all fours position. We're going to sit with our pelvis onto our heels. Last big inhale, exhale. And then let's stay in this kneeling position from here up. Your upper body is up and from here, if it's too much pressure for your knees, you can double the mat. I'm going to show you for one second and bring this ones here so you have a little bit more cushion like that. If it's too much, for example, or you can also triple your mat or you just put a little cushion underneath. It's your choice. We're going to do a couple of thigh stretch. First, we're going to have the arms on the side of our upper body. We're going to tuck the pelvis slightly. So we're going to make our lumbar spine a little round 
And we're going to go back into your thigh stretch. And you come back up. Just like that. Maybe test it first a little smaller. And coming up. And maybe if you want, go a little further back. But of course, you don't have to. Good. And there we go. Let's go three more times. Nice. Two. And last time. Good. And then sit down for one second. If this exercise is causing too much pressure for your knees, just leave it out for one second. It's also totally fine. Next step. Is the same exercise more interesting? We're going to add an arm movement. So we go up again to our kneeling position. Again, tuck your pelvis slightly, and we do the same thing. So you lean back and lift your arms at the same time front. And then you come back to your starting position. Yes. You decide how high you lift your arms. And back. Two more times. And last time, let's stay in that position for one second. Tuck your pelvis, lift your arms a little higher, and bring them back. Two more times. Lift your arms a little bit higher, coming back. Last time, arms back, and then relax for one second down. <laughs> Good. I mean, it's called thigh stretch, but I have the feeling already my thighs, my glutes, everything is shaking from the exercises before, which is, um, I like this one. We're getting ready for our next exercise. I don't want to overdo the thigh stretch because I need your leg muscles for the next exercise. Now, can we bring the arms on top of that like that? And we are completely here with our heels, or with our pelvis and our heels. What we're going to do, lift your pelvis only one centimeter up and bring it back down. So you're pressing basically with your legs or with your shins and with your feet into your mat. Lift your pelvis up and bring it back down. You bring it all the way up and bring it back down. And here's the point. When you continue, keep your upper body as straight as you can. Sometimes the tendency is that we bring the upper body front. We try to keep it up. Good. Then let's keep our pelvis lifted. We're going to do a couple of tilts or tuck of your pelvis. So tuck your pelvis and release, but keep your hips lifted. Again, tuck your pelvis and <laughs> release. We do this three. And release, keep your hips lifted. Two. And last one. And relax. Good. You're going to feel your thighs in a second. I can feel mine already, but if you don't feel them, it's also fine. Now, I want to add a little something extra. You know me on this exercise. Can you come all the way up if you can? Ha, ha, ha. That was a joke. Now, we're starting in this kneeling position. Your arms are again the same thing here. Keep your upper body as straight as you can when you go halfway down. So you're almost touching your heels and you come all the way back. So again, let's try to avoid bringing this upper body front. So down and up and down and up and down. Up, three, good, of course, if it's too much, take a pause, that's totally fine. Two, up, now again, let's go halfway down, or your pelvis is almost touching your heels. Let's do five last one tuck of your pelvis, or your tilt, and release. Keep your pelvis lifted, tilt, and release, only three more times, tilt, Release, two, and one last time, nice, and then relax. Good. 
if you double, tripled, or quadrupled your mat, place them back again. Nice. Now we're going to find the most complicated transition from our prone, let's call it position, or from leading position into our supine position. Can we go into a high plank position? Legs are extended, arms are long. Don't worry, we're not going to stay much longer here. Walk with little steps with your feet towards your hands until your feet or your toes are in between your hands. Reach with your hands behind you and we roll all the way down. Ah, oh, good. That feels so good lying on our backs. But don't worry, it's not going to stay like that. Your arms stay down. Bring both legs in tabletop. Your feet are flexed. Your legs are completely closed. We're going to do a couple of leg presses in the air. Extend your legs. Exhale. Inhale, coming back. You decide if you bring your legs more towards your mat, down towards the floor, or more up towards the ceiling. And last time, good. Keep your legs in tabletop. We're going to a V shape of your legs. Open your knees and your toes. Squeeze these heels when you again extend your legs and bend your legs. Last two, and one, good. Bring your legs back down, place your hands behind your head. We're going to do a couple of chest lifts. Exhale, lift your chest, inhale, you come back down. Again, up, exhale, down. One last chest lift. And after that, let's do a chest lift with rotation. Lift your chest, rotate to your right side, and bring your upper body completely down. And then we do a chest lift with rotation to the other side. Left, lift and rotate, and you bring your upper body all the way down in between. And exhale, lift. Down. Last time each side. And keep your hands behind your head and bring your legs again in tabletop. Your feet this time can be pointed. Close your legs completely. Lift your chest. Support your head with your hands. Keep your chest lifted and extend your legs. Feet can be pointed and bent. Two. Three more times. Last two. After that, keep your legs extended, extend your arms, getting ready for a hundred. Inhale to prepare and Exhale, two, three, four, five, and in, two, 
3, 4, 10. What a surprise, this is so much fun. And 20, exhale 2, 3, 4, 5, and in. 2, 3, 4, 30, exhale 2, 3, 4, 5, and in. 2, 3, 4, 40, exhale 2, 3, 4, 5, and in. 2, 3, 4, 50, exhale 2, 3, 4, 5, and in. 2, 3, 4, 60, exhale 2, 3, 4, 5, and in. 2, 3, 4, 70, exhale 2, 3, 4, 5, and in. 2, 3, 4, 80, exhale 2, 3, 4, 5, and in. 2, 3, 4, 90, last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hug your knees into your chest. Rock side to side. Breathe in and out. Relax for one little second. After that, extend your legs all the way on your mat and extend your arms and you make yourself as long as possible from your fingertips until your toes. Getting ready for our roll up. Start lifting your arms, lift your chest, rolling all the way up or if you need help with your hands on the outside of your thighs and enjoy that stretch front and then we roll all the way back down and up. Again, lift. Up. And stretch front. And last but not least, we come up to a seated position and we stay in a seated position. Good. From here, flex your feet, keep your legs together, open your arms right next to you and try to sit as tall as possible. If that's uncomfortable for you, sitting with long legs, of course you can then slightly bend them. But for me it's important that you make your spine as long as possible. Try to sit as tall as possible. Getting ready for our spine twist. And inhale to prepare. You're going to twist to your right side with three little pulses. First small, middle, little bigger, coming back to the other side. And twist, two, three, and again, you switch each side and coming back and switch to side. Good. And right, tight, side. Nice. Let's go one last time each side. Coming back and left, two, nice, good. Keep your arms open, stay seated. Open your legs slightly more or less mat distance apart. We're just adding exactly what we've done. We go again, twist to your right side, into your saw with your left hand towards the outside of your right foot and coming back going over to the other side and front and coming back reaching over and again if you keep your legs bent that's also totally fine and switch Go one last time, right, reaching front. And one last time, left. Good, then let's all lie on our right side. You can have your arm long or bent. Keep your legs bent. We're going to go into a stretch 
of our thigh. So hold on to your top leg and bring it behind you and enjoy that stretch. Then take the same leg and extend it in front of you, like this. Do the same thing with your top arm and open the arm and your upper body like a book or like a page of a book and reach behind you with a nice stretch for your glute muscles also, spinal rotation and let's come back. And let's do the same thing again. Open your arm, or you can also stay into this rotation. And coming back. Let's do this one last time because it feels so nice, I think. Open. and coming back. Good. Let's find a comfortable transition going over to the other side. And we had our thigh stretch or side lying thigh stretch. Also extend your leg in front of you, like on the other side. Do the same thing with your arm. And we had this open. You can stay here, breathe, relax, and reach. And you come back. Let's do that again. Open. Let's come back and let's enjoy this one last time. Open. And then let's come back. Let's come up in a comfortable seated position, can be cross leg position or extend your legs. Totally up to you. Do you remember how we started our class? I know it wasn't standing. Lift and lower the arms, bring your arms to the side. Big inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, lower your arms down. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, going down. And one last time. And down. Nice. Thank you, everyone, for joining me today. I hope it was fun. I hope your legs feel nice. I think so. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope your legs are feeling a little bit I call it spaghetti al dente. Uh, this was so much fun. If you can get enough of us, watch the next video over here. Don't forget to subscribe and check the link in the description. And don't forget to leave us a like. Thank you. Bye.